everyone! This video is all about litter training in guinea pigs, whether it's even possible and the steps that you can take to make cleaning up after your piggies much quicker and much easier. Firstly, if you were hoping to find proof that litter training guinea pigs is 100% possible, then unfortunately I have some bad news for you. Guinea pigs can definitely be encouraged and persuaded to use certain areas of the cage for toileting, but it's not possible to teach or train them to reliably use one place all of the time. Part of the reason for this is because guinea pigs poop and pee a lot. <laughs> and yes, I've googled this. <laughs> so it's thought that an average guinea pig poops around 100 times a day and they need to urinate at least once every 20 or 30 minutes, which equals about 48 wees a day. Personally, with four guinea pigs, I think that this sounds about right, and it means that I clean up 400 guinea pig poos a day. So with all this pooping, we can't really expect guinea pigs to be too bothered about making a mess. It's kind of inevitable. So why bother trying to prevent it? Sometimes they even poop without realising. However, they are more aware that they find a good spot to pee in. So if you've ever brought your guinea pigs out for lap time, then maybe after 10 or 15 minutes, you might notice that they start getting a bit agitated, maybe licking or nibbling at your hands, and that's them basically telling you that they need a pee and they're not 100% comfortable with peeing on the fleece blanket in your lap. And that's because they don't like peeing out in the open and in unfamiliar places. So for floor time, you might find that they'll always wee if you put out a covered box for them or a litter tray. But if you don't, they will seek out some dark corner of the room where they think it's safe to go and that will become their pee spot. And for us, this means there is hope where pee is concerned. <laughs> I really didn't think I'd be saying that on a YouTube video. It's also good because obviously pee is harder to clean up than poops. So next up, I'll run through my five top tips for litter training and keeping your guinea pig's cage as clean as possible. First up, use fleece. One of the reasons why fleece bedding is recommended is because fleece is not a material that guinea pigs naturally want to pee on. They prefer to pee on natural surfaces such as paper, wood or hay, so it's a good idea to use these natural preferences by using fleece in the rest of the cage. So number two, don't expect fleece to work perfectly on its own. You need to provide a suitable place for your piggies to go to the toilet in, and for me I find a large size litter tray lined with newspaper and packed with hay works really well for this. You can use other absorbent bedding below the hay but newspaper works great and if you're able to find a free supply of it even better. Make sure the litter trays you use are a decent size so I'm sure you've all seen those corner ones which are just unstable and they fall over all the time and you can't really even get one piggy in there so avoid them because they just won't do the job. At first I used cheap cat litter trays, the ones that have shallow edges so the piggies have to jump in them but now with even more guinea pigs I like to adapt and use an underbed storage box for for their litter trays. The great thing is all the piggies can fit in here at once so nobody is left out. And filling the trays with hay also serves to encourage your guinea pigs to eat more hay as it's readily accessible. Whilst it might mean that you have to top up the hay throughout the day more often, it helps keep the rest of the cage cleaner. Also, you can use litter trays during floor time with the piggies, especially if you take them straight out the cage so they already smell a bit familiar to them. Your guinea pigs will instinctively go back to the litter tray to pee rather than doing it on the couch. Stop it. Okay, so providing litter trays is one thing, but the next step is thinking carefully about where you put them in the cage. As well as a natural substrate, guinea pigs like to go to the toilet somewhere where they feel safe, where it's dark, and maybe there's a wall or a corner that they can kind of shuffle up against. So by placing your litter trays in dark corners of the cage, maybe dark corners that you can make by draping over a pillowcase or a bit of fleece over the corner, to shade them more is a really effective method to encourage your guinea pigs to use those litter trays trays even more.
And there's another level after that, which is using pads in the cage. So if you're thinking using fleece and litter trays is great, but my guinea pigs are still going to go in other dark places in the cage, like in hideys, in other corners where they just kind of naturally like to go, then waterproof pads is the solution. I swear by using these, so I'll place them underneath the hidey houses, under the water bottles, and in any other areas where my pigs might have an accident. The pads are less bulky and easier to wash than the liner, but they also help the liner stay fresh for longer. So even when you do come to change it, it isn't horribly smelly and dirty and wet with urine, which is just, oh, gross. So one of my latest videos was actually a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can make these waterproof pads for yourself using easy materials that you can pick up in the home department of a lot of big stores in the UK and the US as well. So if you're interested in having a go at that, you don't need a sewing machine, <laughs> then I'll put the link in the description below and uh, it'll be up in the cards now as well. So go and check that one out if you're interested. And finally, step five, to perfect the method, we need to spot clean regularly. This obviously helps keep the number of stray poops down and I also think it works to deter guinea pigs from pooping randomly all around the cage. So I'm pretty sure that when guinea pigs see poops building up all around them they think, meh, it's okay, there's mess everywhere, I can just go where I want. Which obviously just leads to more and more mess. But if we keep on top of the spot cleaning then this can't happen as fast. And even though you might not think it, your guinea pigs will appreciate being in cleaner surroundings as well. So so that is my five top tips on how I keep the cage cleaner both on a day-to-day -day basis and extending the time between those bigger cage changes where I refresh the liner. So this involves changing the litter tray every day, spot cleaning throughout the day, maybe changing waterproof pads every two to three days and then I only have to change the liner maybe every 10 to 14 days. And if this sounds like a long time to leave a liner in a cage for then I recommend trying out some of these tips and you'll see for yourself how well they really work. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you're not subscribed already, then consider hitting that subscribe button to stay notified of new videos on our channel. It really means a lot to us. If you're already subscribed and you want to support us, then hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment below. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!